Hallelujah. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I'll tell you what. If you open the eyes of your heart and say, Lord, give me eyes to see and ears to hear. Sorry, Deb. Eyes to see and ears to hear. Praise God. Then you know what you're asking. You're asking God. You're telling God, Lord, I really want to know the truth. I really want to know the truth. Really want to know the truth. Praise God. You know, the Bible talks about an unprofitable servant. And I was thinking about this as I was reading the Word this morning and getting into the Word just a little bit. And I was reading where there was an un... That, that many shall come from the east and west and sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And it said, but the children of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be gnashing of teeth. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I thought about that and I thought about people that has grown up in the faith. I don't know specifically who he's talking about. He's talking about the children of Israel there. But people that has grown up all through the years, grown up in church, heard about the Word of God, heard about how good God is and about the faith of God and, and still has rejected it, has took it lightly, has deemed it unimportant to serve God and uninterested in serving God and just like Romans chapter 1 didn't even consider God worth knowing or worth serving I thought about that and he talks about children of the kingdom being cast out into outer darkness he talks about the unprofitable servant in another place he's talking about the chief priests and the scribes of the, some of the things that they do and to widows and some of the things that they do in general you know and says they shall receive the greater condemnation you know he's talking about religious people said they will receive what's translation says the more severe punishment you mean there's a greater damnation there's a more severe punishment if there's a greater damnation, there must be damnation plus a greater damnation. There must be different levels of punishment. I'll tell you something. Hell is real. Hell is real. And, you know, whether you want to believe it, well, I don't believe there's a devil. I don't believe there's a hell. Well, you know what? It doesn't make it any less real because you don't believe it. Because hell is real. It's a real place. And we're responsible. We're responsible raising our children to teach them about the ways of the Lord. Praise God. I admire anybody that's got their children in church that reads the word to their children that tells them the ways of the Lord. I admire you. Praise God. And you know what? That's, that's, a, that's a right thing to do. And sometimes we, sometimes growing up, if we've not been brought up in church, we don't know the Lord. We don't know the ways of the Lord. And we didn't have an opportunity to teach our little children. But boy, when you know the ways of the Lord, then you tell it, you tell it to your children and your children's children. You tell them the ways of the Lord. Praise God. Because we are responsible. Because you know what? You don't, you don't want to see your children go to a devil's hell, grow up, the people that you love. And if you really knew what hell was like, you wouldn't want anybody to go there. Even your worst enemy that you think is your worst enemy. You, one, one minute, 15 seconds in hell, you would be, if you could see, you would be screaming and crying. you what hell is real and it's not preached enough seemed like used to you know preachers would preach that they, they would call them uh, let's see 
hellfire and damnation preachers. <laughs> but they would preach it. They would preach it, and a lot of people got to sin. Well, now, you don't need to tell anybody they're going to hell because they know they're going to hell. No, no, they don't. Some people don't know it. Some people have never heard that there is such a thing as hell. They've just used it as a byword. Just think it's an imaginary thing or an, an imaginary place. But it's real, people. It's real, and while the church is playing church, people are dying and they're going to hell. While the church is just casually playing church and forming their little social clubs and, oh, let's just get together for this and we just get together for that and you just sing a little song and, and read a little bit of scripture and elaborate just a little bit and then we can all go out and eat or, you know, we can go, uh, you know, do some sports thing or whatever. Let me tell you some hell is real and people are going there every day and it's the church's fault. <laughs> 